The first Bartandalus fight can be quite difficult, even if you know what you're doing. Haste will make this fight go a lot more smoothly, and you'll want two Commandos and three Ravagers. We recommend Lightning, Saz, and Vanille with these paradigms. It will help later on in the battle to have a Saboteur, so evened odds should be present. Hero's Charge will be a quick way to recast Haste in the middle of the battle and keep managing your health while not abandoning the Chain Gauge. If this is your active paradigm, you'll be able to cast Haste at the beginning, as well as steer your party towards the right target. Convalescence is best suited for emergencies. Diversity is a good all-around paradigm, so have that. Finally, Tri Disaster and Tireless Charge will be how you take off huge chunks of HP. The first thing you should do when the battle begins is attack the right pauldron, and then use a Libra Scope if you have one. Each subface has an individual elemental weakness, and using a Libra Scope will quickly let you know which is which, though Auto Battle will eventually figure it out. You'll want to eliminate the right two subfaces first, since their attacks are the most harmful. Once everyone has haste, switch to Tri Disaster for a round or two to work up the gauge and stagger the right pauldron. Your health should be able to stand it. Once it's staggered, use a few more spells and then immediately switch to Tireless Charge to heal and take down the enemy. You should only need one stagger for each face, and they'll get easier as you go along. Feel free to deviate from this if you can't switch to Tri Disaster, but don't spend too long on this leg of the fight, since it can be the hardest. Bartandalus will cast Magic Amplification, but this shouldn't affect your strategy. As always, walk away from a high chain gauge or stagger if you need to heal. Work your way in on Bartandalus' right side and then his left. Try to destroy the last subface with a healer present. Once all four faces are gone, the real fight begins. If your health is good, switch to Tri Disaster and then start working on the chain gauge. You'll have to play chicken with Bartandalus, going for a few rounds without a medic and then switch back to Diversity to heal. Once he's staggered, go through a round of Tri Disaster to work up the percentage, then go to Tireless Charge to remove huge portions of life. This is the general idea to follow through the battle, adapting as necessary. There are some other general strategies for this battle to keep in mind. If you need to heal, switch to something with the commando to keep the chain gauge going. Diversity is good for this. If you see a party member's haste icon disappearing, switch to Hero's Charge. All the haste icons will disappear in order, so stay on this paradigm until they've all been renewed. Bravery and Faith are also good things to keep around, so try to keep those casted as often as is convenient. In the early stages of the battle, his move Thanatosian Smile will probably hurt your entire party, but later, as they move around more, it will only target one member. The only other move you need to watch out for is Destrudo, and it's a doozy. Bartandalus will initiate the move and cancel his chain gauge back to 100% even if he's staggered. Then he'll charge for a while and finally launch an attack that can hurt a lot. In fact, one party member can die if you're unlucky. There are a couple of different ways you can handle this move. The first is to switch to evened odds and take care of your health and status improvements, and with any luck, cast a few ailments on Bartandalus. You can then switch to Tri Disaster and continue the assault as normal. If your health is full or near full when this begins, switch to Tri Disaster straight away. It's actually possible to stagger him during charge time, though you'll want to do so after the move is launched since you'll need time to heal. Once he launches it, switch to a paradigm with a medic present while you're taking damage so you can avoid the animation. Heal right away since Bartandalus will start attacking again immediately. Convalescence is good for this. As always, if things get a little dicey, use your summon. An added bonus to this is if Bartandalus uses Destrudo, you can enter Gestalt mode to effectively cancel it. Once your summon is over, Bartandalus will be reset and you'll have full life. All of these things should get you through the battle well under the target time. For beating the first Bartandalus battle, you'll receive 6000 CP, an Entite Ring, and a Crystarium expansion.